don't Firefox crash me right now. Oh no. Okay. So when we last left off, you guys were all at a Halloween party in Millennium Park. And then a guy, who, a, a person in a Grim Reaper costume that didn't talk tried to attack, uh, I believe it was Anthony. Yeah. Yeah. And then a guy named Jeff led you to the bean where a giant weird stock came out and you went into a little promenade hole, basically. A, uh, like, underground area. That was very spacious. And then it hit midnight, and you saw Odin turn into Santa Claus because of lore. Yeah. yeah. And last we left off, I Becky was very complaining and trying to get back out by climbing the beanstalk. I hadn't started climbing the beanstalk, but she was definitely thinking about it. Okay, I remember, like I just remember her like complaining, saying, "I'm getting out of here." So that's where we left off. You three there. And uh, Shathia just goes, This is too much for me. Takes a hit of a blunt and passes out. Nice, dude. Nice. I have to get him out of the session. Oh, that shocked me. Yeah. Okay. So, Becky, did you start on the beanstalk or were you just thinking about it? I was just thinking about it. So you're all around there with uh, Santa Claus, who is, like, getting ready to get go. Wait a minute, Santa. Yes, my dear? Can you get us out of here with your eight tiny reindeer? Mm, I mean, those stairs right there. The stairs? He points to the beanstalk. And, like... Like, your brain flashes, and, it, like, it looks like a beanstalk, but also looks like a spiral staircase whenever you blink. Uh... Not gonna lie, I totally missed that one, too. Alright, then. I guess I'm climbing the beanstalk. Like, climbing the beanstalk, or you're taking the stairs? Well, I'm taking the stairs. Okay. So, yeah... You do it, and it's like, there's slight shifting. Sometimes it feels like a beanstalk, sometimes it feels like solid stairs, but you're going up the stepping of the leaves. You notice that on the beanstalk, like, the leaves are arranged like a spiral staircase. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Over at the, like, ability-wise. What? He just takes a peek at him. Are you even gonna try to climb? I'm not sure what Joe's trying to say. He he's being cautious and looking at them. Oh, looking at the vines of the leaves. Yeah. Uh, roll an investigation if you want to look like really close at them. It looks perfectly fine to you. Nothing out of the ordinary. You don't process that the beanstalk is weird. Anthony's gonna try. To climb or just go up the stairs? Stairs. Okay, so you're just following everyone else. Yes. Yeah. I bl well, Chase slash Kazuki, which is getting weird. Ah, you're having two names. Which one do you go by when I'm calling you as a character? Chase. Okay. Okay, so Chase, uh, did you go up there, or were you still deciding with Shathid just taking a blunt and passing out? Oh, hey, I've seen this story before. Start climbing the beanstalk. Okay, you have to roll athletics, because you're climbing, not taking the stairs. Yep. Athletics. <laughs> <laughs> You see uh, Chase just bolt past both of you, even though you're taking the stairs, because he's actually climbing the beanstalk like in the story. <laughs> yeah, so, uh, let's see. 
So yeah. Actually, uh, just I put that over there for cleaning. We'll be giving you the bean. So yeah, Chase, you end up up here first. Do I see the Grim Reaper, dude? Yes, actually. He's uh right yeah. over here. Like we're gonna take this guy's him for now on the map. It's not actually him. But he's standing there like watching the bean. I draw my swords. Okay. They suddenly feel heavier and like you were a soldier. You know what knives feel like. These feel like your old combat knives in terms of like this is actual metal. What the hell? Yup, yup, these are real. I was hoping for that. <laughs> Question, Chase wise, does Chase think he's about to commit murder? He has no idea what this Reaper dude is, so he probably doesn't consider it murder. Okay, because I'm saying, like, you just, you were a normal person like four hours ago. We're still climbing. Okay, we're still, we're still going up the stairs. Yeah, like, he bolted past you with the 24 athletics. Like, you just saw him go fucking ninja run up the side of a beanstalk. Okay, so you go to this dude. Right. Are you going to attack him? Dude, they'll just swing that thing at us. What's wrong with you? You just hear a lot of hissing sounds and writhing sounds inside the robes. Thanks for getting it on. Can we hear this from the stairs? No. <laughs> uh, roll per uh, what, do either of you have high perception? I think one of you is a monk. Or one of you is something no. wise. Let's see if my, uh... I, I don't have good perception, so. You can roll perception if you want to. Alright. That's me. Nah, it's a bit too high, because you're about halfway up the beanstalk. Well, he's already outside. Like, the big echo chamber. Like, you've gone downstairs into, like, big houses where there's, like, long echoes. Yeah. Yeah. We've all seen rich assholes' houses. So, yeah, you just hear writhing and uh, squirming. And, like, you notice that the long robes, it almost looks like the person has, is, like, he's buckling their legs. Chase? Huh. <laughs> you, you all right, dude? And the robe just deflates entirely. And you know, see, it turns into a swarm of rats that came out of the robe. No, oh, shit, shit, shit. Boop -a -doo. Please roll initiative. That <laughs> includes you two. Uh, we're just going to put your tokens on the board just so you can use them. So you can click. Okay. Just remember to click your tokens. So, no. Well, that works. I didn't know your tokens. Okay, yeah. Uh, let me delete that one. Okay, there's that, and uh, I believe your power range is over here, so remember to click on the token first, Joe. Yeah. Should we, uh, then drag it on from the other thing. Okay. And let me just get my rats out. Okay, that's one. And only three are coming at you, but you do see more off the distance, Chase. Oh, shit. Yeah. Basically, that means that those haven't rolled initiative yet. But, uh, oh, yeah. Anthony, uh, you guys aren't in here yet, because you're still walking. So you're going to be joining next round. So we're actually going to start with Chase. Well, being that one swarm is up in my face. Yep. I don't want to provoke an op attack. 
and he is a soldier, so he would be used to fighting the wilderness if need be. Yeah. Well, they feel real. Let's hope they cut real too. Seventeen. That hits. Eleven slashing damage. You get through about half the swarm. Nice. I'm gonna bonus action with my Wakazashi. Okay. That also hits. Barely alive. There's like four or five rats left. And Damn, they... these things work. Yeah. And let's see, what languages does Chase speak? Uh, at the moment, only common. I can take another language, but I meant to talk to you about that because oh. he's human. <laughs> Fantasy oh, languages are okay. Okay. Like, uh, um, we're going to assume common means human languages in this case. Yeah. So, like, common okay. includes, like, Spanish and Japanese and all that, Russian and all that. Okay. So, yeah, he speaks common and, uh, fuck it, we'll take primordial. Okay. Let's see. You, okay, so they hiss. And here's the funny thing. There's, like, three rats in the back. The tails are all formed together. And you swear you hear in broken English, murderer. Like, very broken, yeah. weird. Like, it's like, wait, what? And now, yeah. let's see. This swarm is coming up to you. And it's going to attack you. What are these? Does a 21 hit? Yes, yes, it does. <laughs> you take six piercing damage. Oh, 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 fucking rats. Okay. No, I, not, I gotta delete that one because that's supposed to be over here. I messed up. Okay, that was that. And oh, we're on the half HP one. Hey, this one, hey, this one does less damage. Okay, seven, I'm assuming, doesn't hit. If it's after me, no. Oh, wait, they have pack tactics. 16. Does 16 hit? 16 is the number. Okay, then it does hit. So you take another 6 piercing damage. I am out cold. Okay! Level 1's a bitch, ain't it? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Becky, you're up. All right. You, I... you see a dozen <laughs> rats falling over Chase's body. I just, like, I scream at first, I'm like, oh my god, it's so gross! And then I, we never really explained how I got my weapons just being, like, a merfolk, but I'm just gonna assume that, like, in this moment, like, she's running by and, like, she picks up, like, some fake, like, and axes and they turn real in her hands for some reason. It's a pizza cutter that turned into an axe. Yes! Because you were eating pizza and... earlier. Okay. Okay. I forgot you had uh, hand axe as a weapon. Oh. What? I forgot you had hand oh, axe as a weapon. Uh, I I rushed over, but as I go over, like I can't make it to the rats, so I'm going to um, use Mask of the Wild and hide in a bush. Okay. Uh, okay. roll stealth. All right. Okay. Does Mask of the Wild just let you stealth, or does it give you advantage? Uh, says that I can attempt to hide what, well, pretty much that I can attempt to hide when there is only, like, lightly obscure foil. Okay, you're hiding in a bush then, yeah. Okay. Cool. And that's, that's, that's all I can do. Okay. Ready? And... You notice, like, the rats actually see you, and they kind of back away a bit. Anthony, you're up. What are these things? They're rats. They're swarms of rats. He knows they're rats, but he's like, you know, they're freaky rats. Uh, what rats aren't freaky? Yeah. I don't have any weapons, I just have fists. Uh, first, how do I put in, like, what do I put in as a weapon for a punk? 
Uh, unarmed strike should be a thing. And you have, uh, you can choose from a staff. You could also have a dagger. Oh, I could have the, like, dragon dagger. I mean, it wouldn't be the dragon dagger yet, but you'd have a dagger. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna say I have the dra dragon dagger, like, he has, I, I remember I said he had the prop, like, the toy. Gotcha. So... It turns into a pretty much real yeah. dagger, then. Uh, he's gonna... He, he pulls it out, and he just attacks the mirror once. Well, can you get that far? Do you have, like, 30 feet of movement or something? Like, you, you should be able to reach it. Because I was... Because I'm 30 feet, and I ran all the way, but I couldn't. Okay. So, yeah. Okay. Yep, so you can attack. That hits. And that's one rat swarm dead. And the rat swarms go like... Guys, uh... What? Didn't you attack? Anthony is saying, is it murder if they attack first? Mm -hmm. That's what you're questioning right now. You're the Power Ranger. You tell me. You're supposed to give me the morality speech. <laughs> well, it's my turn, I guess. Okay. Chase, uh, okay. Let's mark that down. Yep. Okay. Uh, the rat swarms. Okay, that one's dead. The rat swarm tries to go up to Anthony and tries to attack him. A seven, I'm assuming, doesn't hit. Anthony, what's your AC? Yeah, seven doesn't hit then. So that's a miss. This one is actually dead, so I'll just take that out. Uh, just to make sure we don't have this confused. That's a corpse. And then this one is going to just get in your face. Oh, wait, no. God, I hate that rats can be in somebody. So we're just going to do that. So it's going to try to attack you, too. Uh, let's see. Bites. No, four and three four. don't hit. <laughs> Becky, your turn. All right. I'm going to move over to the side, and I'm going to attack the ones that are in front of me. Ah, okay. Yeah. As you swing down with your axe, they ask, Why? Because you're gross! That's why I'm protecting you. <laughs> hmm? I just okay. roll my eyes. <laughs> yep. Okay. Uh, Anthony, your turn again. Okay, uh... Closer to the other set. These ones are alive, right? Uh, yeah. Okay. And he's gonna swing again with his dagger. He is really free. Like, it's weird to be holding what was plastic. Yeah. And now it's whatever metal Zordon makes shit out of. They've they Thor's hammers made out of probably. Ink. Dwarf star matter. Okay. So that's a miss. That's definitely a miss. Yep. Chase, give me another death saving throw. Whoop. You know, you guys can go up and stabilize him, right? Uh, yes, but he, he's a little freaked out and kind of... Yeah. yeah. Becky's just... Okay, I'm going to die. Yeah. Although, I do have a backup character in mind, so... I know, but, like, god damn, this is... I'm th sorry, because this is how my first character died. Double crit by rats. He was a barbarian. Oh, oh god. Yeah, I didn't want to make yeah. anyone else relive this. Okay. Let's see. 19, this one is going to go up to Anthony and try to attack him again. 13, so that hits... Five piercing damage. 
Okay. This one, it just, what? like, it's going to start dodging, because it's trying not to attack Becky for some reason. I don't know why. <laughs> Becky, you're up. All right, I'm going to run over to... I'm sorry, I forgot what his character's name was. <laughs> Chase. Chase. All right, I walk over to Chase, and I try to stabilize him. Roll a medicine check. Hey. Let's see if I can put you in the oh, what is that position? Like the recovery position? Fetal position? Yeah, the recovery position. Oh god. <laughs> the recovery position does nothing for you. Eh. Actually, let me check something. I gotta check something real quick. Okay. Your story with Little Mermaid, right? Yeah. You have advantage on medicine checks when it comes to death saving throws. Okay. Because part of your mythos was rescuing someone from near death. All right. Which means 17 instead of 3, which means I'm not dying yet. Yep. Which means you're stable. My character and die and come back as uh, no, it just means you have disadvantage on charm effects, so people can mind control you easier. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, that's Becky's turn, so... Anthony. Joe, your character. Gonna take another swing at this one. Okay. Yeah. Oh, go. crit! Roll that damage. Are you kidding me? <gasps> what the? Wait. Oh, you forgot to put proficiency in there. Okay. Let me let me see your character sheet real quick. I'll fix this. Okay, that's the problem. You just added dragon yeah. dagger. You didn't add an actual dagger stat. Gotcha. There's how it's a plus six to it. <laughs> Instead of plus three what you've been using. Okay. So, let's see. So, I should do six, but you critted. So, let's go with another one. So, eight. So, you just, like, aggressively stab these rats to death. Okay. Chase, you're alive. Just for shits and giggles. If you roll 20, you can get up. I'd have died! Okay. You would have oh super died. <laughs> yep. Okay. So that's happening. And let's see. That one's dead, too. And the last rats are like, why did the, why is she, we gotta go back? Why is she attacking us? It's like, run away! And they start to retreat. Do any of you follow to try to kill them? Uh, Becky doesn't. Anthony? Uh, he considers it, but doesn't when Anthony, when, uh, Becky doesn't. Okay. Uh... Yeah. Okay, so combat's over. Chase is fucking rat bitten. And, uh, you do see, uh, Anthony, so you have a higher perception. You do see a lot of rats, like, waiting between the trees, but they just seem to be watching. They don't seem to be trying to bug you. Are you guys, what? That's fucking weird. You should go to the hospital and see if you got rabies. Uh, he's unconscious, so you don't know. Or are you talking to Anthony? Oh, oh I, well, I guess I was talking to both of them. Because Chase is unconscious. 
But yeah. We, uh, look at him. Like, I guess Andy tries to take a look at him. Okay, roll a medicine check. Do that anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah, he, like, you stabilized him, he seems pretty okay, he's just gonna need a short rest, at least, to regain some hit points. Okay, man. Uh, he's not awake. He's unconscious. Oh. Until you guys take a short rest, he's gonna be unconscious. Oh, uh, well, let's at least drag him out of the way. Fine, I'll grab one arm, you grab the other. Good. Okay, and we just kind of, like, pull him a little way off the walking path. So you guys are dragging a body in the middle of Halloween night. Thank God most people think it's just a late night prank. Because, you know, it's still, it's still Halloween mood even though it's past midnight. Yeah. So where are you dragging him to? Um, like underneath a tree. Nearby tree. Okay. boop a doo Oh, they don't want to bring the rat corpses with you. Beef them for me. And they are tasty. I'm kidding. Rat's not go a good food. I mean, you can cook it, but it's not like a you know, top five foods to eat. Yeah, I'd rather eat pigeon. <laughs> Pigeons are just sky rats. Yeah, basically. Yeah, but they're still birds. Birds. That... Like, just... although if the pigeon's a sky rat and doves are technically pigeons, does that mean there's a holy rat? I believe it. Um, okay. And, Ch uh, yeah, uh, Shay, I hope you don't mind us going on random tangents sometimes. It happens a lot in these games. Oh, dude, every time the same shit. Yeah. Okay, so that's happening. We'll get out of turn order. And uh, you can all take a short rest or gain your hit dies. Okay. <laughs> oh, God. His chase oh, wakes God. up. Ow. Oh. Oh, you're finally awake. Oh, hey. shit, what the hell happened? Must resist you got attacked by a bunch of nasty rats. Yeah, it was really freaky. Oh, shit, the rats. Like... Um... Oh, shit. As Can oh store So, yeah, a uh, good night's sleep sounds good to me. Is this? What the hell? Oh, right. Okay, it's back. That was weird. Like sometimes it just does that where it dips completely for a minute and then it's back. Huh. Yeah. So okay. like you guys, I look like a fucking samurai. To everyone else, I just look like me. I mean, you're in a samurai costume, so in the normal world. Uh, you just look more authentically samurai. -y. Like imagine the difference between a plushie and a metal plushie. Right. Well, I'm kind of with your idea about going home. It's been a long day. Oh, shit. Shit, someone should grab Shathid. I'll be back. Okay. So here's... I'm going to go grab. <laughs> so you go to the bean, and it's closed. Fuck. You are not sure how to get you these back because he's down there. And, like, you guys came back up the stairs, but you can't even see where you came out. 
None of you actually, like, kept your eyes on the door. I just start searching the area. <laughs> uh, roll investigation, I guess? Oh, man, I had to have had too much to drink. Uh, you do see, you can't find any cracks in the armor, like, the bean is still the bean, you're seeing your reflection. As far as you know, he's okay in that hole where Santa and Jack went, but you're not sure where. So you're hurt, you can't find your friend, and you've been bitten by a lot of rats today. And those rats also talked. I'm about to... Red... Santa Claus. I need a nap. That sounds really good. I already called myself an Uber. So. How much? Yeah. yeah okay. So you <laughs> called yourself an Uber. Yep. Okay. So how long do Ubers usually take? Because I've never used them. Uh, they can take anywhere from like five minutes to a half an hour. Okay. So about uh, 15 minutes go by. And the Uber shows up. Becky, did you call it Uber just for you, or did you invite your two friends? Or I so called it just for me. Okay, yep. Yeah, I drove here in my own car, so I can just take that. Okay. So, uh, Uber's just drove. <laughs> Uber's just like, no, Uber's just, Uber's just like citizens getting extra cash, right? It's not like a cab service, right? Well, it's kind of a hybrid of both. But anyone can be an Uber driver, right? Okay. So you get in the Uber, like, uh, guy has a, like, classic cabbie look on. He's got the cap and the jacket and everything. Dressing all fancy for Halloween? No, ma'am. This is my usual costume. It's cold in Chicago. Fair. Where are you heading? How that how the app works like they actually know where you're going. Oh, okay. Yeah, so okay. you don't have to tell them. Yep. Okay. Yeah, it's been a long night. Well, I'll give you privacy, and you see that he actually has like one of those uh, things that rolls up. He actually has like a divider thing. It cool. The like, like this guy I clearly. Song about this. What, <laughs> what is it called? The, the divider has a specific name, and Beyonce wrote us partition. 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 Okay. He's, yeah, he has a partition. It's like I'll leave you privacy. Okay. Thank you. So we're gonna cut away from that scene. It's like, and uh, and so Shathit, so Shathit is missing. Chase and Anthony are both there. Are you guys, like, staying, sticking together or not? Hey, bro, you need a ride? That would be you. Uh, yes, I would. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. Appreciate it after all this weird shit. Yeah, I feel that. Yep. So, do you want me to make, like, a check to see if I can drive while being slightly intoxicated? I mean, you bled out most of it in the fight. That's true. It's like, but here's the thing. Like, part of you knows that's bullshit. But for some reason, it's working. Ah, uh, confidence. Story that. bullshit. Here's the thing. Like, your influence, like, the way the world seems to work is, like, your influence by how strong the beliefs are. So if everyone believes something bullshit, it's true for you. Like if it's some if it's some bullshit that literally everyone believes, that's true for you. But if it's even if it's factually wrong, I'm gonna um, have to try some shit out later. So for example, like for you, if for you, like lightning does never strike twice, even though it hits the MRT building 765 times a year. Does it really? Yeah, because it's a light giant lightning rod. Like, all skyscrapers are giant lightning rods, basically. Oh my god. That means Napoleon was actually short! 
<laughs> For you, yes. Is this some... <laughs> Anthony says, is this some Terry Pratchett shit? I mean, I don't know uh, who you're talking to, but yes. He's talking to himself. Yeah. Basically, yeah. This is what happens if Terry Pratchett wrote Persona. Huh. I would, I would fucking love that to no end. That is the idea behind the campaign. Like that is the impetus. What if Terry Pratchett wrote Persona? God, yes. That sounds genuinely amazing. Yeah, if I had yes. the skill of Terry Pratchett, I wish I could actually do this well. <sighs> Doing fine so far. Okay, but you guys are heading out. Okay, yeah. so you get to your car. Where does Anthony live? Uh, uh, I think he lives in like a shitty apartment studio. Can, you can afford that in Chicago? Uh, then I guess you, the dorm. Then. Like, do you have daddy's money? Uh, let's say a dorm then. <laughs> Yeah, fair enough. Uh, I'm I'm not from Chicago, but I am staying at a hotel in Chicago since, you know, soldier on leave and all that. Yep. Hotels are actually cheaper than apartments in Chicago sometimes. Yep. It's ridiculous. There's a, I recently read a news story about a couple who they decided to live on a cruise ship because it's cheaper than a mortgage. Yep. <laughs> How they're making money, I have no Are idea, we... though. Yeah, good point. Yeah. I assume remote work. Yeah. Probably. <sighs> okay. Yeah. yeah, if nothing else happens, I just drop him off and go back to my hotel. Like, you drop him off, go back to your hotel. I'll make sure to get his phone number. Yeah. Yeah, we'd, we'd exchange numbers just to... Cause... Yeah. There ain't many people like us, so we, we should keep in contact. Okay, yeah, you have yeah. numbers? I don't believe either of you got Becky's number, or she didn't offer to bring it. Nope. Although I'm pretty, I would not be surprised if Anthony follows um, Becky's Instagram, and he can always message her via that. Okay, question. Is Becky one of those annoying people who posts every moment of her life on Instagram? Like, you're Instagramming, what? oh my god, I got attacked by rats while you're in the Uber? No, no. She she tries to make every point of like any point of her life glamorous, and if it's not glamorous, she's not going to talk about it. She's not going to talk for a while. <laughs> okay, so we're going back to Becky. She's traveling in the Uber, and uh, partitions up, driving through links. It's like odd little smell hits your nose. And it's like, oh god, is that the rats again? And I and like in kind of investigate the smell a bit, like take a good inhale, see what I can like if it smells familiar or not. Okay, uh Roy Nature Chick? Okay. Yeah, Kitty, what do you want? Oh damn. <laughs> it's doesn't smell good, but now I need you to roll constitution saving throws that you inhaled so fast. Oh goodness. Okay, you stay awake, but it's getting harder to stay awake. Yeah, they really should take care of the trash pipe up around here better. It's like, yes, they should, ma'am. Yes, they should. <laughs> I'm sorry, that sounded so ominous. Make another Constitution saving throw. Another one? Yeah. Okay. You're good. You're good. But then you notice that there's a small gas leak coming from the bottom of your seat. Because now you can feel it better. What the fuck, man? You got like a hole in here and it's nasty. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yes, it is. But you did. Are you going to have to and then you see that one of the rats snuck into the thing with you. Oh, God. Right there. It's like, I warned you. It, we were trying to help you. And then the gas gets too much, and you pass out. Okay. 
Yeah. Cut back to... Uh, the, we're going to cut to the next day. Anthony, you wake up. And uh, there's actually a news story about three random randoms in a Halloween costume helping to attack a rat swarm, but there's like two different news stories. One saying, defends young lady from rats. One saying, savagely beats innocent animals. <laughs> Sounds about right. One is clearly sponsored by PETA. Fuck PETA. <laughs> and then he just kind of brings his hands together, feeling, you know, the whole thing just makes him anxious. Uh, yeah. Sitting on his bed, uh, he, he kind of takes out the dagger and fills with it. It feels real enough. Surprise <laughs> playing the flute part. I forgot about the flute part. How do you forget about the flute part? I didn't watch a lot of Power Rangers growing up. I mostly watched like the one where like dude's dad turned into a hamster. What was that one? That was like, that was Ninja Storm. Yeah, that's pretty much the only one I really like watched and paid attention to. Man, that's sad, because there's actually some, like, the older ones have some really cool prosthetic effects, like, you can appreciate it as an adult. Gotcha. Like, if you ever want to, like, look up uh, the Dino Thunder Mezagog helmet. Like, it's a full practical effect for the villain's, like, helmets. And they, like, have the mm -hmm. eyes move and the mouth move. And he has, oh, like, damn. this super sinister voice. It's really good at practical effects. Ooh. Like, on a TV budget. Joe knows what I'm talking about. Yeah, I think so. It's the Dino Thunder, the one where uh, the, where uh, Tommy was the t was the mentor. Yep. I, yeah. Yep. Yeah. God, there was some good Power Rangers series. <sighs> okay, enough nerdy about it. So yeah, you see that? There's a bunch of news on. It's like, and <clears throat> there's also a news story. It's like, now nah, it's like also a news story. It's like. Also, dangerous man with two swords? Like, question mark? It's like, in yellow face? It's looking at Chase. <laughs> There's a picture of Chase there. It's like, and it's like, it's a question, because like, they actually can't seem to determine if you're Asian or not. Because <laughs> <laughs> the story is fucking everyone's perception up. Although you can see him clearly, but like, when you like, skip through Anthony, like, the things where the beanstalk looks like a staircase, like, sometimes you can see it as the rest of everyone's seeing it, but most times you just see it as it is. So, yeah, your, fa your face, you, Becky, and Chase's faces are plastered all over the news. Thank you, helmet. What? Oh, you had the helmet on? Yeah. Okay, never mind. So, the Green Ranger, Chase, and Becky Chase are plastered all over the news. <laughs> Yeah. I wake up and immediately call Anthony. Okay. Bring, bring, bring. Dude, are you seeing this shit? Yeah. Uh, I think Peter wrote a story about us too. Yeah, I so, saw that one. Uh, crap. You're. I have my helmet on. That helps. But I don't know about you guys. Yeah, no. Our faces were there for all to see, but... People can't seem to make heads or tails of us. It's weird. Yeah, like, well, I hardly know what to make heads or tails of us. That's fair. Like, I don't know what to do, because, like, police are going to be here any minute. Uh, same thing, thing. Uh, I'll come and hang out here. On my way. Cool. Thank you. Okay. I am going to pack up, check out, and bolt. Okay. So that's happening. You're bolting. Becky. Yep. Mm -hmm. You wake up, your arms tied over your head, and uh, you seem to be like hung 
almost like a rack of like on a meat hook not like pierce through you like mm -hmm. your arms are bound and like you're hanging we're not going full gore yet okay thank god i i look around i'm like trying to figure out like you seem to be in a deli of some kind there's a uh, pig meat all over the walls it seems uh, to be like a minor freezer it is very cold in here like is it more like kind of like a cooling room instead of a freezer it's a cooling room yeah because like you would be dead if you were in a freezer yeah i take a deep breath and scream as loud as i fucking can Roll performance okay it's very good because you, you somehow get through the duct tape around your mouth and it's like I, and like it's there so it's like and like you hear some rumblings like <laughs> and that something turns around and you see some different you see it's not like all oh, like the deli table a bit away it seems to be a familiar form a woman but she's very pale i i kind of like i stare at her and like shake around and be like try to just her can you help me she does not respond you do notice that you're kind of the hook you're on is kind of jagged and it's kind of eating through the ropes a tiny bit. All right, it, when I notice that, I start shaking around more trying to like roll a dexterity. Regular dexterity or a saving throw? Uh just regular dexterity check. Just click dexterity modifier. Okay, it takes a while, like another 30 minutes, but you eventually get through the ropes. And it's annoying because it gives you, like, rope burn on your arms. Yeah. Okay, so you are now down. Like, your legs weren't tied up for some reason. Gotcha. I, I ripped the tape off my face. Take one and... point of damage for that because, ow! Yeah, that's... <laughs> Have you ever ripped duct tape off your lips? It hurts. Yes, I have, and I have waxed myself before, which is about the same, and I feel like that shouldn't count. Okay, yeah. But I feel like that's resistance. That's yeah, resistance. That's fair. You, okay, but yeah, Becky would be a Brazilian waxer. Never mind. She would be used to this. Yep. And I start yelling at this pale woman. I'm like, what the fuck? I was just hanging there. No response. I, I get closer to her. I, I, I'm like walking towards her and like yelling. I'm like, is going on? What is this place? There's no response. Her eyes are open and milky white. And also her stomach is open. And several of the organs are flopping out. They seem to be cold and dead and clean. Like someone dried them out. Her blood seems to be absent from her stomach. What kind of vampire bullshit is this? And I look around and see if there's any doors. There is a door to the outside. All right, I, I try to go through it. Okay. Uh, surprisingly enough, it's unlocked. Okay. And you end up in a back alley. And there's a dumpster nearby. All right, and I'm assuming they took my phone. Am I correct? Yes. They got, like, like they took your phone, uh, but they didn't take your clothes. They wanted to leave you some dignity for some reason. Well, at least... Well, at least they didn't do that. They could have done much worse. Good God. It's like, we tried to warn you. You hear a voice in the dumpster. Are you a Disney princess and you get rat sidekicks? God damn, it's the motherfucking rat. It's again, it? You said Disney princess, but we have, or said Chicago. I had to make it somewhat realistic. <laughs> <laughs> would you, rat, like, would you rat rather rat. have a ton of cod, a ton of just random bloated fish from the polluted bay? I could just throw them. <laughs> yeah. Rats are... Day. It's like they tried to warn you. Very it's... sad Aquaman. Aquaman's already sad. No, but just make him sadder. Yeah. 
All my friends, all my friends are dead. If no, all your friends, it's like uh, so. Yeah, but you do see a small little like contingent of rats, like about seven or eight of them, come out. It's like we tried to warn you, you wouldn't listen to us. Well, you were in mobs, and you were gross, and you attacked that guy. Yeah, guys try to kill you like this guy did. I wasn't trying to kill me, but. What the fuck was that guy? Do you know? We don't know. He wore a mask. We just know he likes killing women. Am I still here? Oh, dear God. Not again. Oh, goodness. The internet acting up on you. I didn't hear a word you said since I said we don't know. Gotcha. I, I didn't really say much, so you didn't miss anything. It's just like, all right, all right. Well, I guess <sighs> I go to the road. You go to the road. Kill a taxi. Okay. You do not have your wallet on you. Yep. So you're hailing a taxi with no money. I'll pay. <laughs> I'm planning on paying when I get to my destination. Okay, so you hail a taxi, it's like, and it's actually a taxi this time, so it's like much more reputable. It's like, where are you going, ma'am? Going home, and I give him like the direct address, and it's like her dad's place. You said you yeah. were, your dad's place was out of the city or was in the city, is it like an apartment? Because uh, I remember you saying we had a thing where your mother lived out of the city, but your dad lived in it. Or am I yeah. thinking of something else? I don't remember saying that, but that might have been something I said. So we'll go with that for now. Okay. Well, we'll try remember to write this all down in your character sheet so I can actually read them, because none of them are filled out yet. Like in the right. bio section entirely. Okay, okay so, so we'll go to your dad's apartment. It's a high-rise near uh, Sears Tower. Yeah. And it's like, you get in, it's like... And you're let in, thankfully, like, they, they recognize you, even though you're, you look like shit, to be honest. Because you've oh, been yeah. half frozen, and you've been out all night, and you also got to, like, have been dealing with rats. Yeah. Yeah. And you get in, and you finally get there. Your dad is not home, so it's just you in this big apartment. Yep. Yeah. Well, I grab, like, an emergency stash of cash that I know is, like, Hidden in like the main lot, like the main area. You grab the, the yeah. Okay, yep. Grab the uh, emergency at the stash. Yep. Yeah. And then I go in and I go into the the uh, uh, yeah the building and I go onto Instagram and I try to find Anthony. Uh, you do find him. He barely posts anything, I assume. He's just a guy who likes looking at stuff and like liking a ton of fan art. Is that right, Anthony? Yes. Okay. And I message, hey, me, give me your number. Fucked up shit happened. Okay, uh, he gets the notification. Yeah. Sends, sends the number over. Uh, yeah, he sends okay. it. Okay. I get the number and then I call you. Hi. Becky, the news? No, I've been too busy being in a fucking like meat packing warehouse. Got home finally. A fucking kidnapped last night by some weird masked freak, and apparently the mice, well, not the mice, the nasty ass rats are trying to help me in their bizarre German way. Okay, shit. Uh, Apparently, it's just like a serial killer situation, and God, there was, there was a gross dead woman. And bleh. I'm, I'm going to take a shower, so if you're gonna call, if you're gonna contact me, call me. Turn on the news. All right. Uh, and yes, me. you're on the news in the most unflattering light possible. <laughs> like it just like you look panicked and dirty. It's like, oh dear, Gord, not gorgeous at all. 
Oh, this might be. And she grabs a pillow and screams into it. Yeah. Although you are on Instagram, you didn't notice your follower count went up by about 2,000. That's nice. At least I didn't have to flash my tits for that one. You can flash your tits on Instagram. Well, you could do it like during a story, but it would instantly be like it would be taken down very quickly. But you can still get a whole bunch of viewers for like posting nasty shit. Good to know. <laughs> I'm like, you can post anything. It just depends on how long it takes to be flagged down. Oh, okay. Huh. Not supposed to be there, but I'm just like, there's no instant like stop filter. I don't, I know that, but like, I meant like there was like it was a, a term of service disagreement thing. Oh, like, gotcha. I, I, like the way that you said it, I thought you meant like there was like the way it was said. It's like, oh dear God, there's like a tits flashing gif of you that you made on Instagram. It's like three years old. <laughs> <laughs> and it just keeps getting views because it's tits. Nah, that would have been deleted very quickly, but still. Like, just, the, like, the way, like, she, I didn't have to flash my tits for that one. It just didn't sound like a one-off thing or, like, in my head. Uh, okay, so, yeah, you call him, and uh, I think at this point, Chase and Anthony would be together. Because, Chase, you went to yeah. Anthony, right? Yep. Okay. So, you guys are about talking to, like, Anthony's talking to her on the phone when you're in the car. And it's like, that's happening. But, yeah, so you all, like, you're all on the news for some crazy weird shit. Except for Anthony, because Anthony... Had a mask on. No one knows who he is. But, like, everyone found you, Becky, because you're, like, trying to be an influencer. Yep. Chase, you get a call on your cell phone. Oh, shit. I should probably answer it. I answer. <laughs> What's your rank in the military again? Are you still uh, private? Really... Yeah, why not? You get a call from your CO. Private? What the fuck was that? Yes, sir. What the fuck was on my TV this morning? Sir, you wouldn't believe me if I told you. I believe plenty, but rats seems a bit odd. Although, we've killed... Me, I mean, the only rats I want you killing are... Hmm, I know the military's racist, but I don't have to be. <laughs> <laughs> Insert racist term here. Yeah. Like, insert racist comparison to rats here with current enemy of the state. Bleeped. Russians. It's it's bleeped. Like, because, like, I... Sorry, I was watching a Vietnam movie the other day, and, like... Yeah. So it's like, it's like there are things they call Viet Cong. Ooh, yeah. shit. You can and, just say Russians. We're always fighting the Russians. Yep. I don't need you, like, only rats I want you fighting are those Putin pushers. <laughs> Sir, I'm 100% with you. I only fought in self-defense, and there were a lot of them little fuckers. Okay, but it looks, but you gotta understand, it looks bad for my unit to get overwhelmed by Berman, right? No, I understand, I understand. Because remember, you're the uh, only one I, that got knocked out and had to be saved by two civilians. I, I only had blades on me. I didn't have my usual weapons, sir. Hmm. Well, as soon as you're coming back, consider yourself going to need a P uh, PT test. Understood. Okay, Eddie hangs up. Oh Christ! And if you've ever been to if you've ever been into military training, you know PT sucks. <laughs> it's like gym class but hardcore. Yeah. Oh, might take an extended leave for this one. Okay, so where are you actually driving? Because Chase, it's your car. Yeah, I'm just driving to Anthony's house. Uh, I've no, no, you basically... guys are together right now. You're in the car together. Oh, okay. that's what I asked before. Oh no, we're staying at his house since they don't know where his house is. Okay, yeah. Yeah, they haven't seen my face. Yeah, we're staying at your house. Okay, which reminds me, how high profile would you say your parents are, Becky? I say fairly. Fairly? Fair. Yeah, like they're 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 pretty well known. Are they old like money or new money? Old or? money. 
Okay, so they still show up the news that their daughter was on TV. Yeah. Okay, so, yeah. So you go back to your apartment, and you look at the window, and you're seeing a lot of reporters coming into the lobby. That is my... <laughs> I know. And you do get, like, a lot of messages on. It's like, Mrs. Sa- Miss Sanders, the press would like <laughs> to speak with you from the doorman. I'm not taking any interviews right now. Understood. I will tell them that. It's like, and eventually it gets to the point where it's like, they're all waiting, waiting, watching, waiting, commiserating. Yeah. <laughs> That's what they do. Paparazzi just stick around till some shit happens, and then they get their That's photo true. and leave. Like, paparazzi are creepy. Yes, they yeah, are. They are. So they're just, like, staying in the hotel lobby until you come out, basically. So do you have any, do you have any idea how to get past this? I try to sneak back, sneak out, like, the back exit, like a back emergency exit. Roll a stealth check. Is there anything special you do besides just trying to sneak out? Do you try to, like, do anything to make yourself less conspicuous? I put on, like, a trench coat and, like, a really big, thicky, thicky, uh, thick, like, table-knitted scarf that, like, covers up half my face and a big, like, hat. Okay, so you just go look at Carmen San Diego. Yep. Okay. Oh, fuck. <laughs> you have advantage in dressing up. Okay. Yeah. Yay. That's why I asked. Cause, that's why I asked, because I knew that was going to happen. I, like, because you never have good luck with stealth rolls for some reason. Even when you were a rogue, you barely had good luck. Exactly. Yeah. So you manage to sneak out, and you get out the back exit, and the rats are like, and some of the rats come up to you. It's like, are you gonna be okay? Fuck no. Then we'll help you. And the rats like start to, like forming a little like uh, Praetorian guard circle around you. Oh. That's- Okay. It's like, you should associate with someone of a higher class. And you see a big orange alley cat come out. And the rat's like... What? Garfield? I was thinking the one from Aristocrats, but okay. Oh. Actually, Thomas O'Malley. Yeah, Thomas O'Malley. Like, the the smart, cool alley cat. I, I, I know the whole song. Yeah. <laughs> you know what he's saying? Abraham the Lacey. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's like, so he comes out, and the rats are like, hey, come on! Hey, she's our friend. We found her first. Do I have a fucking turf war going on now with animals? Yes, because you're a Disney princess, and they're naturally attracted to you. Uh, why could I just be of course and there's nothing useful around. I mean, unless you consider a dumpster useful or a homeless guy. <laughs> the, well, homeless, the homeless guy just has his change jar and it's like he's looking at the rats, he's looking at the cat, and it's like, this is the most entertainment I've had in weeks. Just drink to the coffee jar. <laughs> well at this point, uh um I figure Becky might have like a burner phone or something. She probably has. She has. She doesn't have a burner. She has like three different spare phones. Okay, so she's got. She's using one of her other phones, and she calls um, Anthony again. Yep. Anthony, you got another call from Becky. I'll take it. Get. Hey, hey, where are you right now? I'm at my place. Help. First of all, is your place still on campus? Yes. Okay. They didn't see my face. So. I noticed. They saw mine, though, and I got a whole building full of paparazzis. Is it cool if I, like, lay low at your place for, like, two hours or so? Yeah, Chase is here, too. But... Cool. Pick me up at the... the, And I, I send her send you a location of, like, the nearest Starbucks to me. Right. It's like, one okay. of, it's like one of the few that's oh. unionized. Wait, what did you say, Chris? One of the few that's unionized. 
Yeah. <laughs> All right. Thanks a lot. I'll. Do you need me to send you cash for gas money? Pay okay, you later. Don't worry about it right now. Okay. Bye. Okay. And I try to sell sneakily get to the Starbucks. Okay, you self check maintain, so you just go to Starbucks as basically Carmen San Diego but brown. Yep. Because who has a red trench coat that's fancy? Like unless you're explicitly trying to do a Carmen San Diego thing. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so you get there, you order a coffee. Do you order under your own name? No, I, I order under um Rebecca. Well, okay. technically her real name. But I go under Rebecca instead of Becky. Okay, the barista says, we have one for a... Rebic? Close enough. Yeah. It's like, okay, you get your uh, double espresso, latte, whatever bullshit. Just, I don't know. I don't drink coffee. <laughs> yeah. And you just sit there, enjoying it, enjoying the sheer hipster atmosphere of the place. I assume there's still hipsters in 2021 in Starbucks. Is that still a thing? Not oh, yeah. Really. I don't know. We don't have Starbucks in Lima. I'm like, All I, the hipsters I, I around Starbucks. here are just a Taco Bell. I mean, wait, uh, yeah. our, wait, our Starbucks are Taco Bell? Uh, yeah, our hipsters are in Taco Bell here in town. I honestly would have counted McDonald's with how weird, weirdly fancy they've been making their insides lately. You know that wouldn't shock me? I haven't been in a McDonald's in forever, though. And the same, like, dude, it's fucking weird. They they have, like, all automated ordering now, even inside. But they have a screen thing that? now. It's weird. Yeah. Okay. Gotcha. But now, yeah. So, yeah. So that's happening. So you get there. And you guys get... Th so we're coming back to chasing Anthony. You guys are getting through traffic, okay? Yeah. Uh, at this point, I would have borrowed uh, like some sunglasses and a fedora or something like that. Just to... have, uh, sunglasses, you... fedora, and like a big oversized hoodie. That... Yeah. Okay. Wait. Look just back, back, like back up. Back up. You asked for sunglasses and a fedora, and you're carrying a katana. God. You know you just. I, I, I will be leaving that at home and just hiding the wakazashi on me somewhere. I mean, like, but you know what you just asked for, right? Yes. Yes. Like, that was intentional, right? Like, we're just, yes. like, we're one Redditor long coat away from being a Redditor. I like, know. <laughs> <sighs> okay. Uh, oh, yeah. so, uh, most people cannot see the katana, right? Uh, Well, they can see a prop katana, basically. All like, right, well, I'll put that in the back of the car just so it's with me. Yeah. Like, if a cop stops you, he's probably not going to see his medal, even though swords aren't illegal to have. You don't need a license for swords. True, true. You should have a license for guns sometimes in some states now. I believe in... No, you don't need a license. You need a register. You need to have a gun registered yeah. to get searched. Why don't they have licenses for guns? Anyways. So you guys drive through, there's a ton of weapons in the back of your car, but they're all medieval-looking weapons, so no one would care. And, uh, you actually noticed something interesting, like, how long was your hair when you started, when you went to the thing last night, Joe? What, what last night? How, how long was How it? long was Anthony's hair when he went to the Halloween party? It was, like, I guess, barely shoulder level? Okay, because it starts growing substantially. Almost overnight. Frank hair. You have to ma you're like you're the Green Ranger, you're not the Black Ranger version with the short hair. More uh, you, you if I can't it, that'll change that. Yeah. Like you're getting full <laughs> ponytail, buddy. I switch my major to teaching, will I turn into the black dino ranger? Uh possibly, depending on your powers change. Are you inhabiting the Green Ranger, or are you inhabiting Tommy Oliver as a character? Okay, so, I feel this as we're driving. Yeah, like, you feel like your hair gets bigger, and, like, Chase is like, dear God, your hair's as long as my players. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, so it's like, uh, yeah, so that's happening, so it's like, uh... Where's the Starbucks? 
You got the Starbucks. So you get there, and uh, they you got a helmet on, so no one would recognize you, but, like, uh, do you go in? Like, who goes in? Does Chase go in? Or would Becky even recognize you? Did you ever take your helmet off last night? Yeah, he did. Okay. So who goes in to get Becky? I do. I, I figure would. I do. Yeah, I'm not going in. Okay, you're just keeping the car warm. Yep, I'm just staying out and waiting for them. It is November 1st in Chicago. It's getting cold. Yeah. So I go in, you know, I look around for Yep. I assume I find her fairly quickly. I'm going to say investigation because she is in disguise. Okay. How good her disguise is. Also, you're bad at disguise checks because you're a Power Ranger. Oh, yeah, fair. Yeah, you're, oh, my God, you're going to be totally face blind. Yeah, fuck. Yeah. Like, basically, if a monster says, hey, look over there, you're going to probably look over there. <laughs> I love that, though. But oh, so on the right side, you get advantage on charisma checks because inspiring Power Ranger. Well, magical girls are basically just cute Power Rangers, honey. Oh, yeah. I mean, yeah. There was that Sailor Moon Power Rangers crossover Boost Studios it a few years ago. Oh, really? I did not. Oh, and it has to be... Okay, I think I had seen clips of that, yeah. Well, no, it's not... It was a comic, not a show. Oh, okay, then I'm thinking... Oh, no, I'm thinking it's a live-action show in Japan. Oh, okay, then you're thinking of the Super Sentai crossovers, because yeah. there is a lot to deal with when it comes to the weird Japanese-American transliteration of media. Yes, yeah. Yeah. Like, I mean, think about this. Without Akira Kurosawa, Star Wars wouldn't exist. True. And then without Sentai, Power Rangers wouldn't exist, but Power Rangers also went back and influenced Sentai, and it's a whole fucking thing. Yep. And then you think about Godzilla and King Kong, and it's a whole other ball game. Launched yeah. the whole kaiju genre. Yeah. Like, I-, I wish there was a class where I could have done an essay on the weird post-World War II Japanese and American culture exchange. Because it yeah. is kind of fascinating how much we just keep going into each other. Yeah. Like, dude, they have Cowboy Bebop or JoJo or Guilty Gear. Like, all the music references and stuff. Mm-hmm. And it's just insane. And that, Okay, tangent over. Okay, so you go into the shop. Yep. Okay, and you can't find her. Becky, you are good at recognizing people because you know it makes people look pretty. So you can see this guy and like, oh yeah, that's Anthony. I walk over, I'm just like, hey. Oh, hey. There you Let's are. get out of here. Okay. Where, right. Where's the car? Right over here. Okay. <laughs> get in the car. I do have a question. How is the is the back seat? Is it a complete mess, or is it actually clean? Well, it's Chase's car, so. Uh, it's also a soldier's car, and he's been overseas for a majority of it, so it's... So it's, it's actually uh, clean, because you didn't have the chance to mess it up. Yeah. Okay. Nope. She sits in the back, no big deal. Hmm. Like, wow. the biggest car in the world, but it does the job. I hope you're doing all right. No, no, I'm not. I got fucking kidnapped and woke up in pretty much like a meat locker. Oh. Hmm. Oh, hold on. Like, like, and, yeah. Talking like some Dexter shit here? Yeah. Well, I so woke up hanging from a hook. Yeah, but at least it wasn't impaled in you. Can we, like, go to the police? The thing is, I... With how it was set up, I'm like, and how, like, things were going last night, I'm like, I don't know if the police will be able to help, because it might have been one of, like, people like us, and how do we handle the police in that situation? That's true. Yep. <clears throat> Okay. Apparently he's a motherfucking serial killer, because that's what the rats told me. Talk to rats? Oh, like, maybe... Yes, I talked to the rats. I, I don't know if they really talked to you guys, but they talked to me, and they're having a turf war currently with Street Cat. Really weird. Oh, right, you're a fucking Disney princess. Yeah. My stories. That shit again. I was really hoping that was just a bad trip. 
You didn't get high last night, though. I know. Yeah. He was hoping someone would drug him. Yep. Okay. But uh, we're going to leave it there because I've just set up a lot and I don't want to continue further unless Wisha Thief can get involved or we can figure out what's going on. Right. So we're going to end it with you guys driving down the street and looking at all the Halloween decorations being rapidly taken down and Christmas decorations going up. Gotcha. Because that's how November 1st works nowadays. It's like yep. immediately Christmas goes up. You're lucky it's not before in Halloween now. Halloween holds the line. Barely. Yup. Because it's just popular enough to do it. Yeah. Okay, but yeah, we're going to end that there. Uh, yeah. 